हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डी के गौतम एंड थैंक यू फॉर जॉइनिंग इंटरव्यू पॉइंट सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू रिवर्स ईच वर्ड्स ऑफ अ सेंटेंस इन जावा सपोज यूजर प्रोवाइड एन इनपुट लाइक हेलो इंटरव्यू पॉइंट सो आई वॉन्ट आउटपुट लाइक दिस हेलो इन टू द रिवर्स ऑर्डर इंटरव्यू इन टू द रिवर्स ऑर्डर पॉइंट इन टू द रिवर्स ऑर्डर लाइक दिस ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल I will suggest to you if you have not watched my previous video this one reverse assistant program in java then please watch this video because i am going to use the logic of this program okay guys so there is little bit changes but total logic i am going to use this okay so i am going to copy the code from this program and then i will use this okay guys suppose i am just going to copy this code and i will use into the my class so guys this is the structure of the program that i have already created so this is the method that i have created i am going to paste the logic that i have just copied from the previous program okay guys so this line is not required for me these three lines are not required okay guys now we are having the so this is the reverse method so return type is the string so it is required the return type so i need to use here return result so it will return a string as a result okay so what this method will give us suppose you uh, when we will pass a hello and this method will revert us hello into the reverse order okay guys now i need to create the logic of this uh, program so let's understand first i need to ask you to provide an input so suppose system after this line i need to create one uh, instance of the scanner scanner suppose sc will be the instance name sc dot neo scanner here system dot in this line is very important for us okay guys so suppose i need to create one more variable okay guys so that i can store the value of the provided by the user so for that i need to create one variable sin and str i am taking the variable name will be the str here i will say sc dot next line okay guys so this is now done now what i have to do is i need to create uh, one more variable so that will be the result so i am creating on to the top so suppose string uh, res will be the this will be the final output okay guys so i am providing like this okay so by default it is having this is the empty so now i need to call this function okay so before calling this function suppose guys user provide an input like hello interview point so i need to split this string into the three words so i will use this split method that is already having in our java so hello will be the zero index and the interview will be on first index and point will be on second index okay guys so i am going to choose the split method and then i have to call the function that i have just created that is the reverse function okay so this reverse function will give us an output so before going to the call this function i need to create one array array of a string type so array name will be str a r r okay you can give any name is equal to here i am going to split the string that is provided by the user split and using the split method and when i will uh, split this method when we will get one space okay guys so when i will get one space here after hello we are having one space after interview we are having one space so when we will get one space we need to split this okay guys now i need to call the method before calling the method guys as you know that we are having multiple words so we are as of now we are having three words here so i need to choose the for loop okay guys so i need to create for loop suppose int i i is equal to i'm taking from zero because in the zero index we are having hello so guys you can take any input this is just example hello interview point you can take any input this is the dynamic program okay so here int i is equal to zero and i less than str a r r dot length length and i plus plus okay guys so i will explain this for loop let me first uh, write our logic i need to create here the i need to call the function of this reverse method you can say function or or method anything okay so i need to call this so before calling this function or calling this method i need to uh, i also need to store this return type into a variable so i will i have already created this uh, result variable so i will use this res plus is equal to so i will explain this in the letter so i need to call this function reverse okay guys and i need to pass the first word that i have into the zero index so how i can pass i will say here str a r r of i so i is nothing but zero index 
first time okay so this is now done after that what i have to do is i also need to print one space after this so i am providing this space but this is not done guys before saving this program i need to write one more line here so i need to print the output as well so system dot out dot print ln so i will say i will use here plus res result variable i want to print okay guys actually this program is not done yet but i am just going to show you the output so guys let me explain this for loop how this will work so into the first in the zero index what we will get hello okay guys as i already told you here the zero index we will get uh, hello in the first index we will get interview in the second index we will get point in the first time zero i is equal to zero and i less than a str of error string array length will be three so i don't want to go till three because i don't have three index in our uh, array we are having only two index i just want to, to go till two so that's why i am using here less than i hope now your doubt is clear so i want to go till two not till three okay we are having uh, array length is three so that's why i don't want to go till three i just want to go till two because i am having three words only and i plus plus so in the first i first time i will get only one word in the first time in the i i am having zero so in the reverse what we will get here we will get here hello so we are passing here hello to this function so this function what it will give us this function is just uh, converting our word into the reverse order okay guys so this is the logic that we are using and this method will return a string as a result okay so what we will get into the result we will get hello like this H E L L O like this we will get output like this okay guys and then what we are doing here we are printing one space so it will give one space here okay guys this so now result value will be hello like this and we are having one space in the next time it will check i plus plus i i value will be now uh, one i value one and we will get interview into the first index so in the first index we will get interview let me check this loop so here this condition is true because we are having uh, length is three and we are having i value is one okay guys so i value one this condition is true then we will get here okay so this line will be executed in the first index we are passing interview as an input okay so this reverse method what it will give us interview so we already have hello this thing we already have into the res variable res is nothing but a result variable so we will have already this one and we are concat concatenating this one so so now res variable will be like this the second in the third time it will give us an point but it will also print one space here okay guys but this space we don't want i will explain in later first let me uh, execute this program okay guys so let me save this program so what is the class name is here reverse words okay so let me save this so in the java tutorial we don't have any file with this reverse words dot java so i have just saved my program you can see here reverse words is saved we have only one file uh, reverse words okay now let me execute so now let me run this program so i need to open the command prompt okay so here i need to move to that location in the d drive java tutorial so cd i need to go to the d drive in the d drive i have to go to the java tutorial folder java tutorial i am inside the java tutorial folder now i need to first compile this program so java c and reverse words okay so so i am just going to compile this program so i forget to write java here so here i am getting the some error system does not exist okay so actually there is a typo mistake s y s okay let me save this control s now compile this program again now there is no error okay guys so actually i am not using ide so that's why there will be a typo mistake so be careful now i need to run this program so java reverse reverse words so it is asking for the entire string so suppose i will say point so we will get hello entry point into the reverse order but guys there is one mistake here actually there is no mistake we are getting correct output but to get the output as 100 percent i need to use one condition here so let uh, i am just uh, removing this line this is not required for us so guys i need to put actually i don't want space after the last word okay guys so suppose after this point i don't want one space so for that i need to use one condition okay so let me add one condition here i not equal to str a r r dot 
we are checking here we if we are having a last word if we don't have last word then we need to use this one this line if we are not having last word then we have to use this line okay guys here i don't want curly braces here the else part i don't want one space here into the last okay guys so th this is the changes only one thing so when we will get the last word this uh, line will be executed so in the last word we don't want to print uh, we don't want to add one space okay guys so this line will be executed when we will get uh, into the last index last index in our case is two okay so in our case in after point we will not get one space okay guys so now let me save this program and execute this again first compile this now run it hello entry point hello interview so we will get hello interview like this so guys this is dynamic program i hope guys this video will be helpful for you guys please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed and don't forget to like this video thank you thanks for watching this video guys please subscribe our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed you can follow me on facebook twitter and linkedin this is my blog url you can check it out guys if you have any doubt you can ask me to comment please provide your feedback thanks